In the basement of the Somerville Theater sits a museum like no other. The Museum of Bad Art is dedicated to collecting and celebrating art that's so bad it's good. Since 1994, the museum has acquired over 700 pieces, putting nearly 30 on display at a time. The museum runs by the mantra that one person's trash is another person's treasure. From thrift stores to curbsides on garbage day, curator Michael Frank has worked for over 20 years at selecting eye-catching pieces for the collection. Today, Michael will join us to discuss more about the museum and their mission to promote the importance of preserving art, even when it falls short of mainstream standards. Welcome to the show, Michael. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Thank you. So, obviously, the Museum of Bad Art is not a traditional museum. So, but what would you say about your collection, like, really sets it apart from other art museums? In general, we, we collect art that... that that was something that we collect things that were created in an attempt to to make art but something right. has gone wrong right so 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 that's not necessarily what what you'd find in other museums let's say one of uh, the pieces in your collection was put up in in another museum like the museum of fine arts or the moma do you think that any passerby any visitor of the museum would see that and not think twice about it I think there are some pieces mm -hmm. that would be confusing, mm -hmm. and, and the more people know about art history, the, the more they, they, might, they might be able to, to discern the difference between our collection right. and, and other pieces that are, that are relatively moder modern. So what does that say about, about the art community? Many of the pieces, many of the images in our, in our collection are kind of vexing. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the best ones are the ones where yeah, you, uh, scratch, you scratch your head and wonder why, just wonder why. Right. <laughs> What's going right. on here? Yeah, no, I know when I, I, I visited, I loved it. And I thought yeah. that the captions, which you are the one that writes the explanations, right? Yeah, I, yeah. That, that's what makes it really fun. I liked reading those. Well, just we, just, we, we present the art. It happens to be art that we either find in thrift stores, yard sales, right. garage sales, sometimes um, in the, on the side of the road right. in, in a pile, interesting pile of That's trash. That's actually how the museum, the collection begot, began, the, right? Yes. The, the first piece was Scott Wilson mm -hmm. is an antique dealer. Mm -hmm. He found a painting on the side of the road in a very ornate frame. And uh, he originally picked it up thinking he would be able to sell the frame mm -hmm. when he showed the piece to his friend Jerry Riley they they convinced him that the the painting was was too precious to, to just t throw away how does the museum run on donations and who donates if so we depend upon the uh, the kindness of others but pe people are welcome to donate mm -hmm. they can donate money to the museum or they can offer to donate art and does anybody ever donate their own pieces they do. If I'm convinced that, that what, what the artist is offering is a piece that, that was, was created with all good intent and the artist realized that just something, just went, went, something wrong. Went, <laughs> went wrong. So we do have a number of pieces in the collection that are donated by the artist. Has anyone ever recognized their art in the museum and reached out to you? Yeah, that's, that's happened a number of times. We, we put out a book in 2008. Some people came forward and recognize their work. Was it a good reaction or a bad reaction? More times than not, people are excited. People get it. Mm -hmm. You know, people get what we're doing. So speaking of garnering a lot of attention, I know you guys um, have garnered a lot of national attention um, from CBS, Today, uh, Good Morning America, and even written about in the Wall Street Journal. So what what do you think is, is about a uh, museum of bad art that garners so much national and international attention? I think people, people enjoy the fact, they enjoy what we're doing and we're, we're, we, we, get, we give distribution to, to art that would not be seen in any, right. any other venue. And you know, we celebrate the fact that people are, people are trying, out there trying. So what is your personal drive as curator? It's a fun project. It's challenging to, to collect these things and to, and to uh, find something interesting mm -hmm. about them and share them and, and the, 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 the 
the reward is basically the recognition that pe people enjoy, right. enjoy what we're doing. Do you have any formal art history training? Or is this just something you started doing for fun? No, I don't. You know, in, in, in writing the interpretations, I, I will do some, I do research. research. To, mm -hmm. Because very often I'll try, I try to, to understand what the, the uh, inspiration for a given painting might have been. Where you, sometimes you, I can tell that something was inspired by some, some either a classic work or, or it makes reference to, co to common themes. Mm -hmm. So we actually brought in some art that we found at Goodwill and we would love to know what your thoughts are and maybe if they are something that would qualify to be in your collection. Well, that's very nice. You like I, this I, one? I like this. I like this. Um, the first thing that jumps out at me about uh -huh. this is that why did, whose hand is this? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> What's what do you think this is that part of the dog? I don't know. I like this. A very sweet little dog. Yeah, and I like this the hand is really too. So this this must be uh I would imagine the dog is sitting in someone's lap. It's it, it is uh Would this, this qualify is interesting. or no? Yeah, I, I believe this would. This, okay. This yes, I believe this would make a fine addition. What do we think about this one? Well, this, this unfortunately is, I don't, is kind of silly. <laughs> I mean, the, the words yum. Yum, and, and then and there's this little thing. guy there saying yeah, hi. So I, yeah, I, I don't I know where that came from. Yeah, I don't know. So this would not. So qualify. I would probably, I would pass on this. Okay. If, if I, if I was in a thrift store, mm -hmm. I would pass on this, and and we would not pass on buy the still, still life. life. Okay. I, would, I think I would, I would buy this, this pink, okay. pink dog. That's definitely an interesting one. Thank you so much for coming in, Michael. I appreciate you joining us on One on Thank One. You. Thank you. For more information, visit their website, museumofbadart.org. Thanks for watching this edition of One on One.